I am here with singer-songwriter Lita Wise talking about his great new record, Paranoia. Congratulations on all the new Oh, thank you so much. Music. Yeah, appreciate it. See. First, let's just talk about the song, because yeah. I just heard this thing yeah. right in front of me. It's just a beautiful song in so many ways. Talk about where that song came from in you. Um, you know, I think starting with the, the whole record, you know, when I first started writing it, I didn't really, um, in my mind, envision I was writing an album. It was more of, I was in the studio getting my creative process out, just writing songs for the sake of writing music. Mm -hmm. And um, eventually it started to kind of come together and I realized, hey, they, I'm, I'm making a record here. So um, the breakdown in particular, um, and I could, I could say the same for the name of the record, Paranoia, mm -hmm. Let Go, a lot of the songs in there really, you know, dive into, I think, the different emotions that not just people experience in general, but like that I've gone through over the past few years. Uh, just on a personal level. I mean, I think paranoia, anxieties, depressions, things like that um, are things that everyone deals with. And so for me, this record was really kind of taking those things uh, head on and, and um, writing from my own experience, from things that I've been inspired or things I've seen. And um, the breakdown in particular is, is really just about those emotions you feel. I think when you're in any kind of relationship, whether it be, you know, um, it could be friends, family, you know, significant other, whatever the case may be. I think when you know something's wrong, mm -hmm. your body tends to prepare for it uh, mentally, um, emotionally, uh, across the board. So for me, that was really what the song was about. It was just kind of putting up those walls and trying to accept them. And it's very difficult to do at times. Mm -hmm. And so I think because your body goes through those steps and prepares for those things, um, when there is a... Uh, a finale to it whatever that may be there always seems to be someone that's hurt a little more than the other and um, you know everyone talks about hindsight and I think it's right. taking that minute to look back at it and say wow you know even the opening line you know uh, of the of the lyric um, you were never that innocent and I was much more forgiving then and I think when you're in those moments it's very easy to be um, vulnerable and it's very easy to be blind to maybe what's going on and so this song kind of just deals with that you're gonna be taking these songs obviously on the road yeah, yeah, we just got done with uh, we just got done with like a three half three and a half week tour, mm -hmm. and you know performing them live obviously breathes a whole new life into what you're doing because, you know I don't think any and maybe I, I don't want to speak for anybody but myself but when you're making a record it's very hard to say okay this is done this song is done and then you go out on the road yeah. and I almost feel like every artist if they could, would rewind after they've gone on tour mm -hmm. to tour it and be like this is how this yeah. lyric should be sung this is where this piano should come in you know because you're really, you know, you make the song, you create the song, but now you're getting to know the song on sure. a personal level because you're experiencing it live. There is no record. I mean, you're just up there performing it and, and living in it. And so um, it's been amazing to bring the songs out on the road and, 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 and finally be able to perform and, and play for fans and stuff. And I think they've really uh, gravitated towards it. Yeah. To me, that's always one of the most fascinating things is to hear that the evolution of a song from an oh, album yeah. to live and, and that cutoff point that you have to have at some point in the studio. Yeah, I mean, and, you have to at some point yeah. say enough's enough because yeah. the record will never get finished yeah. if you don't. Um, but I think, you know, songs are like kids, you know. There's the ones that you, you, you're not worried about. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not worried about you're not worried about that. Oh, he'll, he'll be just fine. Right. You know, and then there's the ones that you say to yourself, you know, I'm, I'm going to have to yeah. figure this one out a little bit more and then there's the you know the ones that are more upbeat or the ones that are more somber and you have to when it comes to performing live really start to learn how you're going to do that mm -hmm. um, especially for someone like me you know I go out on the road I'll usually do a trio or a full band but I'm up there a lot by myself mm -hmm. because you know that's what I do I get up there and I tell my stories and I sing my my songs and I perform and so for me what you may hear on the record um, good examples like carry us through mm -hmm. When I first recorded that song, I couldn't stand it because I loved the lyrics and the story that I was yeah. telling, but the production of it, I just wasn't feeling it and I, I couldn't get there. And eventually I went to the studio and I was talking to my producer and friend um, who I co-produced the record with, Nico Grossfeld. And we were in there and, I'm, and he's, you know, what, what are you thinking? And he's like, yeah, well, I love it, you know, and I'm, I really was like, I, I don't. I do, let's take everything off. I just want to hear the vocal. Mm -hmm. And so I sat at the piano and played the chords and like, it was like, that's it. Mm -hmm. And so things evolve, things change, especially when you bring it to the live stage. So, um, you know, the songs are always different live mm -hmm. for me and I definitely don't ever play the same song 
twice, yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah. the same way because it's always evolving and I'm very in the moment, whether it be recording or performing, I'm very in the moment. In the studio when I'm recording, um, I, wanna, I wanna be in it right now. And, um, you know, and I think that that's, that's what I was going for on this record mm -hmm. while also maintaining the singer-songwriter in me and not sacrificing who I am as an artist. You know, I am that storyteller, singer-songwriter. And so for me, that needed to be in there as well while also adding all this space and you know, sure. darkness to it. So yeah. that was a challenge, but also very. One more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell and never miss a video.